Hey everybody, Heather from Uptown Picking here. I'm going to show you a sneak peek of what we saw, a little bit of um, what we saw last year at ASD Market Week. We're going to be ordering a ton of pallets and they're going to come like this. And then we're going to rip into them like this. And then you're going to get the opportunity to buy them on HookedOnPicking.com. And so I'm going to show you kind of what we're expecting to see this year. This is a little bit of a sneak peek of what you're going to um, see at this year's ASD. Now they did rearrange it, so we're uh, excited. We're also going to have Amy and Shannon with us. So their um, separate visions and eyes will help us to find more products for you guys. We have all the space right now. Super excited to be able to put pallets in. And so we will be ordering like crazy fools when we go to ASC Market Week. So check out the sneak peeks we got going on um, just so you know what we um, are looking for at the ASC Market Week. And I would love for you to leave in the comment section below anything you want us to be on the lookout for. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and check out what we did last year. Hey, everybody. Um, so this is basically some footage that we took in the last two years at ASD Market Week. As you can see, it's a massive convention center and we'll go ahead and we will give you some snippets of the commentary we did on some of the old videos, but I wanted to give you kind of a new take. So I believe this video is from two years ago, so you can kind of still see people in masks. It was kind of like the first time they opened back up after COVID, but you can see there's just tons and tons of vendors like just thousands of different vendors any um from like home household items kitchen items all the way to jewelry things like that so you name it they have it at asd market week we would love for you to leave in the comment section below the items that you would love to see more of on hooked on picking so you know we have a lot of household items a lot of toys um, some home decor. If there's a specific style of home decor you want, let us know if you're kind of a minimalist or you like Southwestern style or things like that. Just let us know. We would love to be able to cater to you as the buying customer. So just go ahead and leave us um, a comment. We're going to go ahead and let you hear a little bit of the commentation of what we're kind of talking about in um, this video so that you kind of know what we were thinking when we walked through the ASD Market Week during um, these years as in comparison to what you'll see us live stream over the next couple of days. Um, uh, at this year's ASD with uh, bringing some of our employees with us and then also having a storefront. Um, and then uh, a lot of companies do a really good job of pricing. They let you know what, what, what you're looking at to buy. And then um, a lot of different stuff here. So here's here's a ton. You know, think gift and home. Um, this stuff scares us to death. You probably get a good price for it, but you know, it's glass, so it has to ship to us, and then we have to ship it, you know, to somebody else. And so that scares us. But if we if we put it down in like a at the liquidation station, it might go okay for us, you know? So it's just on the shelf there. So they have all kinds of stuff here. Um let's see here. Any Pyrex stuff. Uh, I'll have to go back to where that Hamilton Beach is. Um, there are some name brand items here, but um, you know, it, it kind of varies a little bit. Sometimes they have name brand because they are a closeout company. So, and this stuff is awesome over here. Here's your little figurine guys. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing. So, that's, that's the uh, hear no, see no, speak no. I think that's what that is. So, a lot of stuff. And then it just switches from one, uh, one style to the next, you know. Now, we ordered some goblets, not from this particular place, but uh, they'll look a little bit more like this. And we went with more of a... Um, like here, we want more of this kind of theme, kind of the knights and the, the wolf theme. So we've got that. I'm back. She's 
back. Yep, they're actually hunting for other stuff, so uh, we're going to meet up with them later. Any probably. Native American decor? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, there you go. Boom. Anything and everything that you would want. Uh, Native did you show American. that we bought those cups? Yes, I yeah. did a second ago. We bought some cups similar to that. from this place, but from yep. someone just like it. Yep. But I mean, it's just gorgeous. They've got anything that you would want and imagine is here. You know, like if you come over here, this is just, if you look way down there, you'll see all the little businesses yep. that are on, on the wall that are trying to help your Amazon business or whatever. Yeah, those are like um, uh, like Amazon Scout Pro. Uh, this is the Great Western Trading Company. We uh, went by their booth uh, earlier and they have all these they have neat these brass things. keys, big brass keys. That. Isn't that cool? So on this site, 1897, nothing happened. <laughs> That's funny. So, we're on Route 66. Yep. We're pretty close. I lived on Route 66, Hamel, Illinois, one time. So, now all of this stuff, it's not the vintage. It's like the repop of that. But they're still made yeah. out of, like, most of the, we found a lot of stuff from this company specifically that was made out of solid brass. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all of these there. I think these would be cool. Like I've seen this in like Branson and like little tourist little shops. You know, you can get your, you know, U.S. Marshal badge, so. So as you can see, there's just thousands of different options to choose from. And so we're gonna keep showing you some video from previous years, just so then in the comment section below, you're able to say, hey, I saw this last year, can you look for this again? Or I saw this two years ago, can you look for this again? So our typical day um, when we go to the ASD Market Week is we get up in the, early in the morning, we um, basically get our badges, which you have to do uh, the first day. The ASD Market Week actually starts on Sunday, but we don't fly out until Sunday because we like to go to church on that Sunday. And then Monday is our big buying day. Tuesday is our big buying day. And then Wednesday is a day that we kind of are looking to buy anything to bring back with us from ASD, like cash and carry. We're ready to fill some suitcases. So we always double pack suitcases because we fly Southwest. You can have two bags per person. When we fly out with one, we pack a suitcase and a suitcase. That way we can bring items back with us. There's also FedEx there at the ASD Market Week in the convention center and also at our hotel. So we can um, bring flat boxes with us, tape it up, and go ahead and ship it back to ourselves as well so that we don't have to worry about anything being broken in luggage or lost in luggage on that plane. And so usually Monday and Tuesday, we make a list and we start buying. And we used to go and talk to everybody and then decide to come back and buy. We've learned now that there's not enough time for that because there's so many people to buy from. So like this bear right here, if we want it, we better stop and make an order right then. We've also learned that we need to ask a few questions before making an order such as do you ship to Illinois do you handle all the freight because we do not coordinate any of our freight or shipping we we want the company to do that for us and so we have a lot of questions like that that we are just very conscious of and we ask those questions right away and so therefore we go ahead and do that. Like if we wanted to buy one of these crosses or order from this company, we need to order right then, right there, because the likelihood that we're gonna be able to come back or have the time to come back and find this company again. Um, also, they sell out of a lot of things. See the thing with the yellow tag? Those are on clearance for the show only. And so a lot of times they will sell out of those type of items. And we did buy quite a few of those crosses and over the course of about six to eight months, they did sell. Um, and we got them at the right price. So we were okay holding on to them for a little bit longer and we bought high quantity. Now, a lot of times with the clearance items, you're gonna have to buy their whole entire stock of them. And so that's something that an individual might not be able to do. But if you've never gotten the opportunity to come to a trade show like this, look them up. There's a lot of other like vendor trade shows that sometimes are smaller, but locally um, uh, closer to you. So you don't have to fly all the way out to Las Vegas. Although flights to Vegas are always seemingly very cheap. Um, so I would suggest like, I know there's a couple of um, smaller vendor fairs that are in Chicago. And so if we wanted to just drive five hours, we could load up our car with all the things that we bought and so just some ideas um, but a lot of times you have to buy everything via case pack 
But like I said, we order on Monday and Tuesday, and that's where we get our pallets of items, our cases of items, our master cases, all these things that are brand new. Um, but then on Wednesday, the really cool thing is a lot of these booths will sell the entire booth to someone or they will piece out some of their booths so they don't have to bring as much back. And so we do a lot of buying of partial booths and then we also go to the cash and carry section um, which is basically looks exactly like this, but you can buy one to two items at a time. So you're buying just a few at a time, or maybe you have to buy bundles of eight or bundles of 10 or bundles of 12. And so we'll do that as well. And so, um, it's just a lot of fun being able to look around at all these different things, you know, like these are just kind of little like stocking stuffer gadgets and, you know, toys and things like that. And to be honest, we find a lot of things that we've never seen before. We saw the poppets and the fidget spinners before they were even popular and in stores. We saw them at the trade shows. We wish we would have bought a whole bunch before then, but we didn't know that they were going to be as popular as they are. And sometimes things are dead. Some things, things are not. We bought popcorn for a long time from Bell's Gourmet Popcorn. They do sometimes have food vendors there and they went really well for us for a while but then it's kind of like our customers did, had had all the popcorns and they were good and so uh, we stopped doing the popcorn. So we would love all of your feedback um, on this but let's go ahead and listen to a little bit more of the commentary from this video and what we thought while we were there a couple years ago about the vendors that we see. That's how big the puzzle gets. Isn't that awesome? And they they get even bigger. They're called Madcap. Um, we also have dinosaur ones. We're thinking about mine. We have not yet bought, but we may. We have this sheet. It's an eight dollar hula hoop. That better be a really good hula hoop, man. Yeah. Look at those things. I don't know what it is, but it looks amazing. Oh yeah, it says booth for sale. So most people come in and they don't uh, they don't pack all this stuff up. They sell it to somebody. They sell everybody the whole booth. So just everything that's here, you know, the, the samples, the samples, if you will. So people come in and they buy the whole booth. You know, it, it's good till the end of the store, of course, uh, or the the uh, show. Now I think this is starting to stray into the alternative lifestyle stuff. No, we're still in convenience. Cool. Okay, convenience. Yeah. Good deal. That was a candy place that I, I tried talking to them a little bit. But they have a lot of, I think... They, be, they No, they basically told me just go on their website. Okay. And that's weird because some people are ready to write orders and some people are just basically... I don't know if I'm we're not big enough for them or what. They're like, hey, just go and no, you know, go to the like website. Things, oh, look at this. Little hand towels. There's their show specials. Three hundred dollars, five percent off, six hundred dollars, ten percent off, I don't know, ten percent off, free shipping. Look at this. Let's see, scan there for you. Uh, some senses buy that cross. Uh, some senses narwhals are, are becoming hot like sloths. Donna says I love puzzles. Yeah, I love think we're gonna try to they have right big now. dinosaur ones, and then they have really pretty like hummingbird flower scenes. Uh, Nigel says, do you have any of these vendors offer net credit terms? Um, no, usually you yeah. have to get some sort of a business loan before you come. Because right. they basically take cash or credit. Cash or credit. Yep. Yep. These look neat. What are these? Just a cloth? Just a hand towel. Okay. Um, I think Pretty. we are also going to... I think we also are going to go into the... That's where we got our jelly yeah. bellies. We might have to go over and add some caffeine jelly bellies to our yep. order. All right, well, we're probably going to have to hop off here soon. Yeah, we'll find a place and we'll kind of recap yep. everything. Cool. We'll show you some of the stuff. There's all kinds of bamboo, bamboo trees. Bleachers. I'm sorry if I'm moving the camera around too quickly. Yeah. I'm trying to so, stay out of people's way when we walk. Right. right. We have a few more comments that have popped in. There's a bunch them. of bongs back there, if anybody's selling bongs. <laughs> If you're into selling bongs, we got them here. Any kind of bong you'd ever want. Okay, right. Never thought as a pastor I'd be talking about selling bongs. Hey, watch out for the cars. Yeah, don't get hit by the remote control guys. 
One of the other reasons that we really, really like going to the trade show to be able to make orders is that you see vendors you'll never see any other time. The only time some of these vendors ever make sales is at their trade shows. They basically travel around the country and they do these all year round and that's how they make their income. Now we will find some long-term vendors such as our B&G sales, our Via Trading, our Mid Valley Closeouts, all of those kinds of companies that we've been able to reorder from on a regular basis and we've built a rapport with. Um, but like here, it's kind of nice because you can actually put hands on the product. You can smell all the different candle scents. You can um, see how fragile the glass pieces are um, and see the size of everything. You know, there's a lot of times that we will order, especially off of B&G, and you've even heard us on videos go, oh my goodness, I did not think it was going to be that big. You know, we just recently, if you've been following our channel, ordered this really pretty light that it looks like trees reflecting through it and it ended up being about four times the size that we initially thought of and so that ended up being a really good deal for us because we bought it for a great price but we did not expect it to be that big we thought it was more of a uh, you know like a, a candle warmer size or a little tiny lantern type light um, and so it's really nice to go to this trade show because then we kind of get an idea of the process of this particular business find out is it going to be easy to reorder from them and how easy easy is it like do they give us spreadsheets to in order to reorder or do they have their own wholesale website or do we just simply call them and we have done all three with all of our vendors we have a couple of vendors that we just call and we say hey we want this type of palette please build one for us and we trust your pricing uh, we've got one vendor that we do that regularly with um, if you saw us buy the Squishmallows, that was that vendor. We, they just simply called us and said, we have Squishmallows, do you want them? And we said, yes, give us all the ones you have. And so we trusted that we were gonna get a do good deal. We never have lost money. She knows what price point we wanna be at and what we want to sell the items for. And so that's been really helpful as well. We've built a trust and a rapport. And that's what you're starting to do with the vendors here. And we're gonna introduce Amy and Shannon into this whole world, um, as well as their husbands are coming with us because they're want their they they're kind of curious and we thought it'd be a fun little trip for them. Bonus for working for Hooked on Pickin'. We, um, pay for a business trip for you guys so um, we're hoping to be able to help them to get their eyes opened about vendors because the more that they know about the business the easier they can help us make changes and updates and upgrades so that we can just be a lot more efficient in our space we're taking down some of the wood shelves um, um, that we usually see behind all of the fire sales so that we can make room and be able to buy up to 12 even to 24 pallets at a time because a lot of vendors you have to order um, multiple pallets at a time um, and so that's just an idea so I just thought I'd give you some tidbits of information while we're kind of going through um, watching uh you know this this trek through the asd market week that we've done in the last couple of years and so that gives you a little bit of tidbits but let's go ahead and see what we're talking about and what we're seeing um in this video here did you see that one yeah. didn't really we'll have to go up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. um somebody wanted adult coloring books uh, we got, uh, I we think... We this whole display right yeah, here. Yeah, that whole display. So this is what yeah. we got? Yep. So we got uh, some adult coloring books there for you. So I thought that would be kind of neat. And then uh, they have stickers galore. We bought some Play-Doh yep. sets too. We did find a craft vendor, but they're pretty expensive for the initial startup cost. So we'll have to see what we want to do there. Yeah. Let me see if I can see some different stuff. For sunglasses, we didn't even look at sunglasses. No, we didn't. Well, you have a supplier box. That's true. The good part is, that's true. Yeah, bedding, rugs, carpets, all sorts of random stuff. And it's all kinds of little toys. Those are little cars. I think Via Trading is here. All kinds of little cars. Via Trading's here. I, I saw Resale Rabbit on YouTube. If you yeah. ever watch him on YouTube, yeah, we'll just saw him. By the time I, 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 I looked at him, I'm like, who is that guy? I know that guy. And by the time I figured out who he was, he was gone. But but these look cool. These look cool, Heather. 
looks like a little pyramid. They're a paperweight. They're a paperweight. They are a paperweight. Well, we sell paperweights. That's cool. You want to ask about those? Yeah. Go and ask about those there. Good deal. This is a company we looked at uh, that we'll have to see if we're going to do anything with them. So I usually get the question when we go to the ASD market week, can anybody do this? Yes, anyone can do this. There are a minimum amount of um, things that are needed to become a reseller. First off, you need to check with your state and you'll have to get a reseller's certificate, a reseller certificate or a resale license. Uh, it's different for each state. Sometimes they charge, sometimes they don't, but just make sure you follow all the rules when it comes to paying sales tax whenever you do start selling. And what that does is it gives everything tax free and a lot of these larger vendor companies like for you to have a resale certificate. So when you go to these vendor fairs, you need to have that at the ready because they like to have it. The other thing you definitely have to have is you have got to have tons and tons of business cards because you give a business card to everybody. And so you definitely want to have um, tons of business cards so that you can um, give that directly to the person you're ordering from. A lot of times they'll just read off your information off the business card and write it on their own order sheet. Some of them are um, really sophisticated. They have scanners for all their items and it all, all goes into a computer database and then they print out a really nice invoice. And then other people literally have carbon copy paper. They write everything down, half of it what you can't understand, but it makes sense to them. And then they hand you that as your order form. So usually at the end of each night, we look at what we've ordered in what categories we've ordered. We find out kind of where are we light, where are we heavy, how much money have we spent, and what are we on the lookout for the next day. So we kind of go uh, have a little bit of a game plan each day. You know, Monday is usually the day we just kind of like get our feet wet. We try to figure out where all the closeout companies are. We do buy from regular like distributors for like home decor, clothing, things like that. We will be looking for um, a couple of different clothing vendors. We love our Bloom Chic vendors, but it'd be nice to find a few different kinds um, that also come in the other sizes, such as like small, medium, and large um, that aren't just Target brand clothes. We would love to be able to find a really nice, high quality vendor that's similar to the Bloom Chic style. Um, We'll definitely be looking out for health and beauty, like you see right here, um, being able to buy some discounted health and beauty and some perfumes and stuff like that. And so we will just start to build relationships with different categories that we're a little bit light in. You know, we've got a lot of home decor, we got a lot of toys, we got a lot of clothing, but where are those other areas such as makeup, health and beauty, um, you know, stationery, um, a person to always get gift bags for the store, because that's one thing we don't carry very frequently is we do not not carry a lot of gift bags and a lot of people come in and they buy those last minute birthday gifts because they know they can get them at a great price um, but we don't have birthday bags you know and so different things like that that now that we have a storefront and now that we have employees we're making ourselves a list of things that we just want to make sure that we have available um, at all times and so uh, I know you guys have been loving the jewelry been loving the auction stuff and so uh, we also one thing that's really neat too is we're able to look into um, store supply items. So um, we are able to get pricing guns, and we're able to get um, laser printers, and we're able to get um, shipping supplies and um, displays and things like that that um, would work well in our retail space, but also for our process in the back. Like that's where we first find out found out about the light box like taking photos with the light box is here at the ASD Market Week. And so we're really excited to be able to kind of open our eyes to things that'll make our process move much faster. You know, we've got a lot of hands that do a lot of work, but sometimes if you could just speed up the process, you can get even more done. So we're very, very excited about being able to look into that. Um, and so um, hopefully this has been giving you a little bit of a glimpse into um, what we see at the ASD Market Wake and what questions you can ask on the threads. We will be checking the comments on this video so that we can be able to um, communicate with you guys well. Like I said, just make sure you stay tuned um, to our channel and be on the lookout. We will be doing most of our live uh, streams 
from the convention center. We'll be telling you what we've seen, what we haven't seen. We'll maybe get some insight from Shannon and Amy if they want to share. And if their husbands, if they want to get involved, you can uh, maybe meet them, but we'll ask them if they want to do that. And then we'll kind of, you know, just find out what kind of ideas they have and, and and what their first impression of being at the ASD Market Week is for them as well. So um, be on the lookout in the afternoons on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. We'll definitely be live streaming um, from the convention center to be able to give you a glimpse into what's been going on and what we've been looking at and what kind of deals we've been finding. If there's any changes from last year, uh, the last couple years, if there's anything new, if the product process is any different and then we're definitely going to be looking into the cash and carry section to be able to be bringing some of these items home um, so that we can have stuff immediately following the ASD market week we will have that whole next week we'll be um, showing you and selling you all of the brand new products that we are bringing home probably mostly on the fire sales because cash and carry is something that we usually can't photograph well or get multiples of so it's going to be like three or four of this and three or four of that and three or four of uh, another item and so we'll be selling a lot of the cash and carry items um, that we purchase or ship back to ourselves um, on the fire sale and so definitely be on the lookout for the week after the fire sale but I also want to tease you a little bit to be present during the live streams because we're going to be able to announce to you some special deals for you guys um, so definitely be present or go back and watch um, other uh, the live streams that we're doing at ASD in 2024 so that we can give you those special deals um, and that you won't miss out on um, what we're giving out to everyone. So let's go ahead and get a little bit more commentary and glimpse about what's going on right now in this video. Jelly Belly now. And then we have purchased from three closeout companies. Mm -hmm. And that's just a variety of Actually four things. closeout companies. Four, yeah. And then what else did we do? We found a figurine company that has all these cool little goblets and... We did buy some pet stuff, someone's asking. Yes, we bought some pet stuff. Um, yeah, pet products are around. So let's see here. More, looks like what, more cleaning stuff there. A lot of cleaning stuff, but we get a lot of that in liquidation already. You want to come back here? Yeah, they got... They have it's every flashlight on imaginable. The, depends on like tactical flashlights. Depends on the price point though. Because if these are like yeah. fifteen dollars wholesale, then I think that's too steep. But if we can buy them yeah. for like six ninety nine, then that would be better. Uh, Sunshine says Jelly Belly Yum. Uh, she needs everything popcorn, Jelly Belly. Let's see. Nicole says I'm glad I went back to work. I need the money to pay for the stuff I want to buy from y'all. <laughs> Pat Anderson, do they have Christmas uh, Christian stuff? A little bit. Yeah. Like we haven't seen like a like a one particular wholesaler uh, with that there. Um, good day from Australia. <laughs> he said, "Wow, you didn't go there to play." Nope. No. Nope. We came no, here uh, by. And then yay, jelly bellies. Yep. yep. Jelly bellies look fun. You see over here, you got bedding. Bedding. Now these are all like um, branded. All sports teams. Sports teams. We have had a hard time moving this stuff, we Heather. We try not to get this stuff because it's very specific. This used to be the St. Louis Rams. Don't cry, Paul. It's going to be okay. I want to I want to burn this right now. No, I want to throw it on the floor. Because it says LA, that's why. Yeah. But see here, you can see 1350. You have to buy at least four. You got to buy four for that there. But, but um, you know, you got to think, what, what could you sell that for? It'd probably do pretty well for that, especially if you had like a sports shop or something. Let's see, Cynthia says, oh no, I just ordered a bulk pack of Jelly Belly sport beans. I like these sort of flavors with caffeine for future reference. We, we, we almost, we bought, almost them. bought some of those. All right, we might have to order the caffeine yep. sport ones then. Just a viewer says, howdy y'all. Pat Anderson, love me some Jesus. Very good. We do too. Sheila says, hopefully you have, you are having a wonderful time there. We are. Yep. Uh, Brenda says, hello guys, I like watching your videos on YouTube. Hopefully you guys are having fun. We are. Cam says, Steelers. Yeah, I have Let's not do. yet had my coffee and Paul has not, has yet to find a Coke Zero while we're here. So if you want to yeah. do a super chat, we might go on an adventure. Looks like this some. is primarily, oh, okay. Here's more of a like Arizona a yeah. motif there. Kind of some tumblers. That's kind of neat. Got the little stainless steel wine glasses, the coolers. Yeah. Hey, and I'm sorry if we lose you guys a little bit. Yeah, um, the Wi -Fi it might could go. a little bit. Jennifer Smith says, don't let 
And one more fun fact before I let you guys go. ASD stands for Affordable Shopping Destination. So it's clearly affordable for me, which makes it affordable for you. And we're doing all the legwork so that you guys can get a really great discount on everything and be able to do all your Christmas shopping and buy everybody twice as much as you normally would because you shop at hookedonpicking.com. So um, ASD stands for Affordable Shopping Destination. And we're really excited to be able to show you the upcoming videos. So definitely stay tuned. And they have uh, 1,752 pieces. So, not too bad. That's kind of neat. Uh oh. They have a lot of sets of stuff. Uh, they've got costumes. Yep. Um, if you're interested in costumes, that might be nice. Yeah. 565 case pack. Red Hot cool. Firefighter. Cool, cool. Let's see. We've got more sports themed stuff for you. Um, I'm trying to look here to see if KT did. Here is a salad spinner. It's just anything and everything you can imagine. Let's see here. Let's make that money, guys. Good luck hunting. Love the content. To write your dad's uh, yeah. yep. 4,000 luminaries flashlight, please. Yeah. Happy Mardi Gras. Like the picture frames. Did you order any sugar for jelly bellies? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Did they have Packers here? They have it, everything. Yeah. Every sports team imaginable. It looks like it's all all kind of more plastic well, dishes we, here. You have to buy like 24 pieces of Packers yeah. here. So you can't that, just buy one. It's a little bit harder. And see over there, we can't sell in Illinois, but there's all the fireworks. Yeah. This guy's just wholesale fireworks everywhere. Alright. Uh well we've done general merchandise. Now like if you keep going down, if you guys can see, it goes forever. Yeah, there's a there's all the closeout places, liquidation places. There's not as many liquidation places as there. Not as many liquidation. And then it seems like if you see over here, there's the outside wall. The outside wall, they'll have all kinds of companies trying to help you do better on Amazon and, you know, make your listing better and stuff like that. Now, we didn't do Gift and Home. You want to walk down to Gift and Home? Yeah, it'd be neat if we could go by that booth where we did actually buy some stuff. Yeah, we found some really neat stuff. Yeah, I think we have a few more comments pop up there. Oh, did we? Let's see if I can get past here. Yeah. Well, look here. Here's tons of... Here's, yeah, gonna, here's Hamilton yeah. Beach. Yeah, this is like what you get at... We've got Hamilton. We've sold Hamilton oh, Beach before. Not right now. What's your minimum? Um, these had some Christian things. A few, but huge really artwork. Large. Very yeah. large artwork. So you kind of have to go. That's hard for us to ship, but uh, but it's it is neat. And uh, uh, like here's a. The yep, yep. A little bit of food there. We might try to talk to them about food. Uh, but their that company was their food is one uh, one month to four months from expiration. So when you have to do that, that's a little tough. Here's like show rugs for sixty nine ninety, so seventy bucks a rug. So then you got to figure out what can I sell that rug for. You know all that there. So lots of different companies, lots of different companies to be able to talk to and to be able to oh, yeah, see. This is where we got all the toys. Yep, we got some toys from that company there. And uh, here's another toy vendor here. Some you've seen some of these toys before. Lots these, of toy we vendors. Have these. Yeah, we have a hamburger. It's just like a different box. Mm -hmm. So we have that hamburger. We've got, you know, they've got pens galore, pens and pens and pens. You could think of. They have these huge, like shiny crystal acrylic. Yeah, like I don't even know if people would want these. Is this something that you guys would even be interested in? It's a teddy bear that just has. Like a heart. Holding a heart that does all crystal, like, like for Valentine's Day, that might not oh, be yeah. bad. That would be fun. We want to find a spot so we can kind of answer some questions, maybe. Yeah, let's go back here. All right. Ooh, look at that! The... Look at the swirl. It's a tornado! It's a tornado, everybody! Boom! Oh, tornado went away. It's a smaller tornado. It's a smaller tornado. <laughs> it's a bigger tornado. 
As of right now, we're probably in the air flying to ASD Market Week as I'm showing you these sneak peeks. And so um, we will be live streaming every single day that we are at the ASD Market Week. We don't know what time we'll live stream, but we'll try to set it out there for about a half hour before we actually do live stream so that you guys can see the notification and be kind of in the queue waiting for us to start. Um, but we will be live streaming, kind of giving our input and being able to talk to you directly on those live streams. So. Monday, Tuesday, and a little bit Wednesday, we'll be live streaming from the ASD Market Week. So definitely stay close to your phone, close to YouTube, and have that notification bell all set up for the Hooked on Pickin' channel. And uh, if you don't get a chance to watch us live, watch us after the fact, and you'll be able to see all the fun things that we're doing while we're out there in Vegas at the convention um, with Amy and Shannon, as well as both of their husbands are going with us. So thanks so much for joining us for this fun sneak peek and kind of a glimpse into what we're going to be walking into as we go to Las Vegas to the ASD Market Week convention. And of course, remember in the end, Jesus wins. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.